But, but anyway, so let's dive into this. Next speaker, y'all think I have a lot of energy. You think G has a lot of energy. Here's somebody that's going to match the frequency, if not more. Um, funny enough, I actually, I don't even know if Caesar knows this. When I was like fucking 15, 16, um, about a decade ago, I stumbled upon Caesar's first video. It was, it was some objection handling video. It was back when I was selling door to door. I sold everything I'd get my hands on. But um, Caesar Rodriguez, Caesar L. Rodriguez, he is a network marketing legend. If you guys don't know who he is, um, he started network marketing. I think it's been over. Let me see if Caesar's in here right now. Uh, let me just get him in here. Okay, cool. I'll ask some of you, but I'll keep going. So, so when you, when you could think guys, when I've been ta I've been talking prospecting, I've been talking closing, like this guy is a beast and specifically niche down into the direct sales, whether it's over social media, in-person networking. And the reason why I fucking love Caesar is because he doesn't just come into the game now and teach what you guys could do. Like now over social media, what he knows is, He's came from shaking somebody's hand in fucking Starbucks or, or in Whole Foods and using those same core fundamentals over social media and doesn't abuse like the human interaction technology on how to recruit and enroll people into your business. Like he is an absolute freaking legend at prospecting and closing. And I'm sure he's going to dive into it more tonight. So Caesar, I think you're unmuted. Thank you, brother, for coming on. Can you hear me? Do you have me? Much better. Oh my God. Look at this guy. This is called, this is what professionalism is all about bro what are you taking when you're working out tell us everybody wants to know the secret what's up with those guns come on guys give a warm welcome on the right hand side of the chat to the legend himself mr caesar rodriguez caesar man thank you for coming on i, I really appreciate if you can also dive into your story because i think it's going to pour so much value into the audience right now you can talk about where you came from and what you've done over the last decade and who you've been serving everything like that yeah <clears throat> props thank you so much and thank you to everyone this guy's out of a movie one sec caesar you're in a I, I feel like i'm watching a movie right now i love it you're you're shitting on my team right now okay go ahead man go ahead brother how i do baby anything that i do i'm gonna do it in the best and boldest way possible that's just <laughs> how i roll you know what i'm saying so uh you know i'm i'm fired up you know to be delivering some value to you guys and, and to your family and and to your fans and your followers um, because Daniel and I, you know, we kind of have an interesting history. You know, we stumbled on each other, uh, back in the day because I happened to, uh, be a leader of a movement, which is called the B10XB movement it stands for B10 times bolder. And I've literally had hundreds of thousands of lives, maybe even millions by this point who've been touched and impacted by this movement and what it is exactly that we do. But basically I'm an expert in helping people to transform into 10 times bolder, more confident and badass versions of themselves. And Daniel back in the day happened to also have a saying that he had coined and it was part of his core philosophy and one of the things that really made him successful. And it was basically be more bold. And I remember I had this guy who uh, got one of my wristbands because we have these uh, B10XB wristbands for everyone that's in the movement. And it's designed when you look at it, it reminds you to be 10 times bolder. And I'll talk a little bit about what that is. And um, we ended up connecting because uh, this kid, he got one of my B10XB wristbands. I think he got a hat, he got a shirt, and then he posted on Instagram and he tagged me and he tagged Daniel because Daniel, his philosophy and one of his sayings was be more bold. And so he tagged him and then he tagged me. And I was like, who's this other Daniel dude? All right. This guy's talking about bold stuff. This is one of his core philosophies as well. I can, I can dig this dude. Let me get to know him. And that was a couple of years ago and uh, we've stayed in touch and been friends ever since. So uh, anytime I have the opportunity to do anything here and to uh, just spit some fire for any of his friends, fans, followers, or do anything for him, I'm all in, you know, I'm all in because that's what this world is about doing good to awesome people. Right. And just doing good to people in general, but especially awesome people who sew in a lot and give a lot like he does. So I just want to say thank you to Daniel. Thank you for uh, all of you guys taking time out of your evening here to hang with us. And uh, I'll, I guess I'll just say um, a little bit about my background story and then I'll roll into a quick training and uh, send you guys off to the next uh, speaker and trainer. And by the way, um, if you want to tag me on Instagram, it's uh, at Caesar L Rodriguez. You can just look at my name over here. Some of you guys can type it in the chat if you want. And if you take a dope screenshot or video or anything like that, you know, I may end up sharing it. You know, you may get some eyeballs and some attention, some followers or whatever. So feel free to record and uh, take any of your best little clips and, you know, share them and 
I'll give you a shout out. Perhaps, perhaps I'll choose amongst the best ones that I see. <laughs> All right. So, uh, my background, my story, um, I guess it starts out with me being, um, 21 years old and I was just about to graduate college and I call my mom and I tell her, mom, I just saw this amazing business where people were making, you know, $30,000 a month. This one lady even bought her mom a brand new minivan uh, with, and it was only, it was a $30,000 a month minivan. And my mom being a single mom for a lot of my life and, you know, be, me being the oldest of three growing up, you know, in New Jersey, central New Jersey, five of us living in a two bedroom apartment for most of my life. Um, up until I went to college and then I had dorm room roommates and stuff like that. Right. Um, so I called her up after I'm about to graduate and I think I'm going, uh, to do something in the event management space. Cause I was graduating with a sport management major in uh, high point, North Carolina. And I was about to graduate from this college. I'm two weeks away. And I tell my mom basically that I found network marketing and I'm like, this is what I'm going to do because this lady bought her mom a brand new minivan and it was only one month's income for her. And I wanted to make like $30,000 a year. And then I just saw this foreign lady who could barely speak English talking about how she made $30,000 a month. And I was like, yo, this is it. This is what I'm going to do. So I called my mom, the biggest supporter in my entire life, told her what I was going to do. And she basically said, you're an idiot. And it about broke my world because I thought that I was going to do this thing for her, for me, you know, turn the family tree around, be the first successful person, you know, like really bust out and make it the first millionaire, you know, um, after seeing these people, right. You know, and she's just like, you're an idiot. And the sad thing is, is for several months, I was starting to believe she was right because the first hundred people I talked to in a row told me no, 100 no's in a row. And by the way, what I was selling was $9 to $26 a month. So I couldn't get one out of a hundred people to spend 26 bucks with me. That's how bad I was. So I want to preface and say that because as you see me talk, as some of you guys start to look me up, you start going on my YouTube videos, you go on my Instagram, you start seeing all this stuff about me. You might get the impression that I'm one of these, you know, born charismatic, you know, people who's just a slayer with words and was just born with a ton of swag and all this game. And the reality is, is I wasn't. And it was several months before I even got my first five yeses. And I was thinking to myself, I was on the verge of quitting because one of my early mentors, um, Eric Warre, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know his name, um, you know, he uh, had spoken and he had asked, you know, an entire room of thousands of people to stand up if they ha- could sell five people a month for the next year. And out of thousands of people, I was the only one to not put my hand up because I didn't believe that I'd be in integrity to say that I could sell five people because uh, a month, because I hadn't sold five people in my career and I'd been in for several months. So that's where I was. And then I made a bold decision because I was driving home and I said, you know what? I'm either going to do this thing and I'm not, or I'm not, I'm going to quit because everyone's telling me I'm an idiot. I'm getting, everyone's telling me, no, like this isn't working. I'm probably too young. And, uh, and I just said, you know what? No, no, screw that. I'm going to do this. And drastic times call for drastic measures. So I made a very bold decision. And my bold decision was to call my mentor, who is the most charismatic guy I'd ever seen. This guy could walk up and talk to strangers and prospect and stuff, which was something I was terrified of doing. Uh, didn't even know how every time I tried, I basically got rejected. And I was like, if I could learn how to be like this guy, man, then I have a chance. Then I'll have a chance. So I literally uprooted my life, moved from uh, Roanoke, Virginia at the time to Wilmington, North Carolina, because he had a beach house in that city. And I said to him, I said, look, if I move to the city where I don't know a single soul, but if I just go there, will you allow me to follow you and to just watch you talk to people so I could learn how to be like you? And he said, kid, if you're crazy enough to do that, I'm crazy enough to say, yes, come on down. So I packed up everything in a U-Haul truck, moved to a city where I knew absolutely no one and began to build my business by talking to cold market strangers every day, talking to five, 10, 20 people a day, trying to shake their hands, trying to get a number so I could follow up, present to them and, you know, hopefully get a sign up, you know, get a new rep or get a new prospect. And in that process, I committed to do nothing but focus on myself and my business. 
I know that you can only, and this is for your notes, for those you take notes, you can only make what you are. And if you want to earn more, you have to become more. So I made a commitment not only to get around someone that had solutions to my problems instead of the circles of people that I was friends with that basically just had problems to go along with my problems. I started getting around people like him. I started plugging in and I did nothing but personal development for several years. I read hundreds of books, listened to thousands of hours of audios. Can't even tell you how much money I've spent on seminars, books, courses, the whole nine. Invested hundreds of thousands of hours, hundreds of thousands of you know, dollars. And the result was along that process, I went from being this person who's terrified to talk to people to being able to pull over 20,000 numbers from a cold market stranger. And I stopped counting after around 20,000, right? And, uh, and I went from being a 21-year-old broke college kid to making my first million by 29. And what I want to share with you today is, number one, a little inspiration and maybe a little hope. So for them, some, some of you guys out there, um, I know that you, and I hope that you've already started to get some training from what I've shared within my story. Um, but I hope to inspire some of you because I know some of you guys are maybe just like I am or just like how I was, where I thought, man, you know, I'll never be that charismatic. I'll never be able to be that outgoing. I'll never be able to be that bold. And uh, long story short, now I lead a movement that is dedicated to helping people transform into 10 times bolder, more confident and badass versions of themselves. But I am all of those things that I ever wanted to be and more. I have surpassed my mentor and he tells the whole world that it's, uh, it's such something he's super proud of. And because that's something I'm super proud of when someone surpasses me and I've had people that have made more millions of dollars than me that I've trained early on and I've mentored early on. So, um, you know, I'm super proud, you know, to bring, uh, a little bit of notoriety to his name. His name is Larry Gregory. Uh, he's getting a little older and, um, you know, cause you know, he's uh, over 70 plus years old and, uh, you know, I just want his legacy, uh, to be extended by my story. And I want to hopefully have a part perhaps to even play a small little role in your story, because one of the things that I discovered, uh, along this journey of personal development and focusing nothing uh, on nothing other than myself because here's what I want you guys to understand. You can only make what you are. And if you want to earn more, you have to become more. And a lot of people, they go, okay, so Caesar, what do I focus on? What, what, sh what traits should I do? Because a lot of times, you know, we just need to focus. So I want to give you the gift of focus. I want to give you something that you can focus on. And if you just do this one thing, it will literally make everything in your business easier, better. You'll hit top ranks faster. The last company I was in, before I retired from network marketing to focus on training the industry and having an impact bigger than just what was in my company. I was the number one recruiter in that company out of hundreds of thousands of people. I put in 116 pe 102 people in 116 days. The first 20 people I talked to in a row told me yes. Keep in mind, these were cold market people. These weren't, they were cold and warm market. These were people that essentially were not on my team from another company. I brought on and built an entirely new team. And I was uh, for several years, you know, the top recruiter in that company. And the reason I shared that is because I want you guys to know that no matter where you're at, you can transform. And the number one thing that you want to focus on, if you want to be successful, most people, they think, oh, I need to focus on, you know, 50 different things. No, you don't. If you think about it, if you just focus on this one area, everything else will happen and fall into place for you. So what is this area? Some of you guys, I can see already follow me. Some of you guys already know but I want to leave you with this very actionable idea and concept. If you think about it, the most successful people in the world, the number one thing that they all have in common, think about it. What do you think it is? So many people think, oh, so they're hardworking. Oh, they were, uh, you know, they were rich. They were like, what are the things? If you think about, if you think about all of the, the talents, all of the skills that people have, you know, most people I'm seeing passion, I'm seeing mindset, confidence, discipline, Here's the thing. The number one thing that the most successful people have in the world, if you read as many autobiographies as I have, and you just look around and open your eyes, it's actually kind of obvious. It's that they were all bold. They were all bold. You see, there's better, there's better and more talented singers on the street corners that are playing for nickels, dimes, and dollars than there are people who, are, have, who have signed record deals and you're hearing their stuff on the radio. The difference between those two people and most people, the number one thing they all have in common, 
the most successful people in the world is that they're all bold. And the biggest differentiating factor of that person who's playing for dollars and that person who's getting radio plays who you love to listen to, it's they were bold enough and they were bold enough to put themselves out there and to go for it. The most successful people in the world, the Abraham Lincolns, the Martin Luther Kings, the celebrities that you may admire, they were all bold. The top earners, they were all bold. All of you guys made a bolder decision by signing up to join your business. Think about it. If you look back at your life, if you look back at your life, everything that you're happy about, excited about, and grateful for came as a result of a bolder moment. There was a fork in the road and you had the opportunity to take the weaker path or the bolder path. If it's something you're excited about, like the business you're in, maybe a relationship that you're in, maybe a relationship that you're out of. If you look at the common denominators, when you were at that fork in the road, you took the bolder path. And if there's anything that you regret in life, it's because you took the weaker path. You did not go for it. You did not prospect that person. See, many of you guys already would be multi six-figure earners, maybe even millionaires, if you just prospected a couple of those people that you said no to. And I'm not talking necessarily just on the street prospecting. I'm talking about prospecting by reaching out to them on social media because maybe they're a top influencer. Maybe there's a connection that you can make. Maybe there's a, a line you could say, a script that you can say, you're just one bold move away from getting your next big breakthrough. And your entire success, if you look back at it, it's nothing but a series of bolder moments that you took on the path. And when I discovered this, I knew that the thing that I needed to change was just to be bolder. Now, I don't have a ton of time to get into all the different things that boldness means, but I want to give you a hack. I want to help to reprogram you. I've got tons of training that you guys can look up. If you're following me on Instagram, shoot me a message. And matter of fact, I'll give you a place. I'm going to give you all a gift, but I'll give you a place that you can go to connect with me. Maybe some of you guys can type it in the chat. B10XB, just copy right off my shirt, B10XB.com forward slash connect. It's got my social media stuff on there and it's got some pretty cool stuff. I'm actually going to allow you guys all to join a Facebook group that I have if you're interested. And uh, you can hop on my email list in which I will give you some really dope stuff that I'll tell you here in a moment. But what I want you guys to recognize is when you make this one trick, when you implement this one hack, your entire life can change. If the answer that you, if the path that you need to go down to is one of becoming a 10 times bolder version of you, well, how do we start making changes towards that today? Well, here's a quick little hack that I discovered and it's something that changed my life and it's why I am the way that I am. It's how I became the way that I became and how so many other people have changed their lives with this. So what I want you to do is understand that there are three enemies to success, fear, indecision, and doubt. Fear, indecision, and doubt. This isn't me. This is Napoleon Hill in the book, Think and Grow Rich. The one thing that crushes all of those things is boldness. So the next time you feel fear, indecision, or doubt, maybe it's to go prospect someone. Maybe it's to go talk to that person that's your crush. Whatever it is, personal business. Anytime you feel fear, indecision, or doubt, any of that little anxiety or indecision, just ask yourself what is known as the B10XB pattern interrupt question, because it's a pattern interrupt question that will interrupt your pattern of thinking. And that question is, what would I do if I was 10 times bolder? And whatever you think of in that moment, you need to do it. That is the way the B10XB game is played. Anytime you feel fear and decision or doubt, or any other disease of attitude, you just ask yourself, what would I do if I was 10 times bolder? And maybe your answer is, I'd go talk right up, I'd go right up to that person that I'm checking out because I'm single and they're attractive. They look like they're out of my league, but I'm going to go step up to them. And that person, like one of the followers of the B10XB movement, a gentleman that messaged me and he said, hey, thanks to B10XB, and me asking myself that question, I said, if I was 10 times bolder, I'd go walk up to that girl who was surrounded by seven guys. He didn't know, but he just saw that they were all flirting with her. She was a tour guide for a little bar crawl that they were doing. Well, he ended up talking to that girl and they ended up, because of that, dating and now they're happily engaged. You're one person away. You're one bold move away. In business, I prospected a guy at a gas station he ended up being my number one earner on my team, catapulted me to the top level of my company. He ended up 
blowing up in his business as well. Today, we ended up becoming best friends. You know, I mean, the level of tightness, you know, that he and I are all because of one bolder move. He's completely changed his life. Both of our lives are completely changed from one handshake. You're one bold message away. You're one reach out. So all you have to do is ask yourself that question. And what's going to end up happening is because you become whatever you think about and repeatedly do, when you ask yourself, what would I do if I was 10 times bolder? If you come up with that idea and you implement it, you are therefore becoming a 10 times bolder version of yourself because you're acting as a 10 times bolder version of yourself, which means you're becoming a 10 times bolder version of yourself. Now, here's the catch. If you don't do it, it's because you link pain to getting out of your comfort zone and pleasure to staying in your comfort zone. So what you do is you need to rewire your brain and what you have links to. You see your brain, if it's attaching pain to getting out of your comfort zone, it's not going to do it. It's going to want to stay in its cozy little safe comfort zone, which we all know success isn't found in your comfort zone. Success is found in the boulder zone, baby. So you need to get over yourself and you need to reprogram yourself. So the next time you come up with an idea and you don't do it, you don't prospect that person. You don't reach out to that person. You don't ask them that closing question. You don't try to overcome that objection when they say, oh, I need to think about it. I need to do some research. You don't overcome that objection. And by the way, I have tons of training on overcoming objections. If you guys go to that b10xb.com forward slash connect page, I'll send you a bunch of stuff. Um, everyone that hits that page here tonight, I'm going to hook you guys up with a bunch of dope stuff. But if you don't answer that question, what would I do if I was 10 times bolder? You just pull back on that wristband and you snap it on your wrist. So what I want you to do is get a little rubber wristband or you could get one of these B10XB wristbands. I'll actually give everyone here uh, one for free. You know, just cover the shipping because I don't know where you are in the world. But if you go to that page, b10xb.com slash connect and you just follow those three steps where you just click the green button on the bottom. On that page, you can see my podcast. You can join the Facebook group that we have for the B10XB movement and you can hop on my email list um, and start to get you know additional trainings from me. But if you do that, I'm going to give you one of these free wristbands. I'm going to give you one of these wristbands for free, an official B10XB wristband. So you don't just have to walk around for the next several years of your life with a little brown wristband on your wrist. <laughs> you can actually have this because just looking at it programs you to be 10 times bolder. It reminds you B10XB, be 10 times bolder. So I'm just here to tell you, I've shared that message, that training uh, for years. And the people who have joined me on that journey the people who have said, you know what, I'm going to rock a wristband or I'm going to be a part of this movement, wristband or not, you can still be a part of the movement. I'll still love you. I don't care. It's not like I'm getting rich off of these things. I've made my money years ago. This is just my way of giving back and reminding you to be a 10 times bolder version of yourself. But if you just walk on this journey, I'm here to tell you everything's going to figure itself out. If you just start thinking to yourself, what would I do if I was 10 times bolder? If you just start asking yourself that question every single day, literally your life will change. The amount of change that you will experience will be mind blowing. And the coolest thing about it is it's kind of like working out. A lot of people look at me and they're like, yo, Caesar, I mean, is this the 10 times bolder version of the college you? No, this is like the hundred, the hundredth or thousandth, you know, 10 times bolder version of myself. Because there's always a next level. Once you become that next 10 times bolder version of yourself and you're no longer scared to talk to people, you're no longer being timid. You're approaching your business and the people that you talk to from a position of posture. I mean, I don't even have time and haven't even had time to get into posture, but if you guys want to get tough, if you guys want to be strong, I'm just here to tell you I am the posture king because I have a couple of philosophies that I teach people and it toughens them up. And it's just a part of the, what we call Caesarism, you know, little self-made quotes, but I'll just give you a couple of them right quick. Caesar, I want you to talk about posture because I told you I, I want you to lay it down on posture because I think it's- I mean, I don't want to go past my time unless you're cool with it. You know what I'm saying? No, no, lay, it, lay it down for five minutes because I think it's super valuable for the audience to understand what posture is because I talked about it last night with you on the phone. I'm like, that's going to be very valuable. So talk sure. about what posture is because I always talk about posture, especially like in cold network prospecting. So go hit, hit it down. I want this. You guys want to hear about it? Great minds think alike. No, 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 no. Okay, forget about it. Fuck it, we won't do it. All right, hit it. Let's do it. 
<laughs> All right. You know, hey, look, that's one of the things that, you know, Daniel and I have in common, man. Great minds think alike. Okay. So let me first give you the definition of posture. This is the official definition that I have created. If you hear any other definitions, they're probably okay, but this is the best one. I'm just going to tell you straight up. All right. Posture to keep it very simple. It is the position of strength or weakness that you come across in every encounter. Posture is the position of strength or weakness that you come across in every encounter. So if you have weak posture or no posture, that means you're coming across as very weak. Now, one of the things that I do that I train very differently from every other network marketing trainer that there is out there, except with the exception of maybe Daniel, we have our two different styles, but we vibe on this philosophy very much so. All right. If you're coming at people from a position of weakness, that's all those scripts that you guys are using where you're asking for favors and you're like, hey, you know, will you take a look at this? Or man, I, I sure think you'd be good at this. No, let me drop some Caesarisms on you to toughen you up. Everything you chase will run away and everything you run away from will chase you. Ooh, I need a bomb drop on that one. I need a mic drop. <laughs> I like that one. And everything you run away from will chase you. Look, I'm seeing a lot of ladies on here. Women, you all know what I'm talking about. That's why your mama or your daddy told you, hey, now don't give it up too easy. You know, play a little hard to get because here's another one. You ready? Buckle up. Whatever it is that you do when you're talking to people, if you can just remember this philosophy and have the philosophy of everything you chase will run away and everything you run away from will chase you and you add to it, people do not appreciate that which is given to them easily and without effort. If you combine those two together, what does that tell you? Okay. Don't chase my prospects. Don't give it up too easy. See, people have to feel like they have to earn what it is that you have to offer. If you're cheapening your opportunity by handing it out and throwing it out to everyone, and you're not following any type of, you're not implementing any type of takeaways, if you don't know how to use the proper language, if you're doing stuff like thanking people for their appointments, even little stuff like that, there's so many little words that you use. And I mean, I audit people's trainings like, Part of what I do in some of the communities that I have is they'll give me their scripts that they're using and I'll rip them to shreds and I'll say, don't say that, say this instead, right? I have an entire private community where I literally just do that and give training, you know, constantly. Caesar, um, can you say that again? The, 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 the second line you said over it, the appreciation line, say that one more time. Okay. People do not appreciate that which is given to them easily mm -hmm. and without effort. Mm -hmm. Basically, if you don't get people to, if you're just giving out your opportunity really easily, you're giving it up too easy, people aren't going to appreciate it. So they have to feel like they work for it a little bit, which is some of the stuff that I do. And I help people, you know, to work on. And Daniel does as well. He teaches you how to be tough. You need to have posture. So let me give you my philosophy when I'm out there recruiting, tell me, yes, tell me no, but tell me quick. Cause I got to go. Oh. I, I don't have any time to waste with people who aren't serious. Now, I don't believe in just sorting so quickly that you're not actually using effective language when you're trying to prospect people, but I want to just help you with your posture. What if your new attitude was some will, some won't, so what next? Tell me yes, tell me no, tell me quick because I got to go. What if your attitude was like that as you are sorting through the field? What if you recognize that you are the prize and that people, if they're smart, they should be begging you for what you have? because you have an opportunity to be successful at a level that allows you to have time freedom and financial freedom that they might never have outside of you. Because the more successful you become in network marketing, the more successful you become in this industry, and I'm talking to my network marketers, for everyone that's not in it, still, you can still have this type of lifestyle, but it's pretty easy to get network marketing because of leverage. The higher you climb, the more you get promoted, the more money that you get a chance to make and the less time you actually have to spend because you don't have to be out there on the streets trading time for dollars like you might've had you know, initially when you were first selling because you have a large team and you're getting leverage. I am very passionate about helping people to be tougher, helping people to be bolder because with that one thing, listen, it's not the smartest guy in the room. It's the scrappiest guy in the room. Ladies, you don't have to outwork everyone else. Gentlemen, you don't have to outwork everyone else. You can make Shorter spurts of bolder moments 
you can have those shorter spurts of bolder moments, right? It's just you making that call to go, I'm going to go hit this person up. I'm going to reach for this person, even though they're out of my league. When you start to make those shorter spurts of a bolder moment, what ends up happening is you can get prospects to say yes, and you'll get people to want to join your team that might have never, ever been prospected by the weaker version of you. But the bolder version of you reached out. The weaker version of you is just going to go out there and work a whole bunch and get busy doing figure eights all day long. Whereas the bolder version of you goes, no, I'm going, for, I'm going to hit some home runs on this journey. I'm going to swing for the fences. I'm going to try to recruit myself a Daniel G. I'm going to be bold. So be bold, my Thank friends. You. Daniel, my man, I appreciate you. If anyone has questions, guys, feel free to reach out. I know a lot of times people go on Instagram and stuff and they see like, you know, the blue check people, you know, and they're like, you know, oh man, you know, Daniel's not going to have time for me. Caesar's not going to have time for me. You know, like these guys are so busy. Their followings are so big, but I'll tell you what, man, you know, I, I love my people. I love the people that are entrepreneurs. I love people that are network marketers. I love people who are hustlers. I love people who want to be bold and I love people who want to make changes in their lives. So I'm here for you. I got your back. If you have any questions ever, just reach out to me um, on that page. If you go to uh, that b10xb.com forward slash connect page, you can see all my socials, my YouTube. You can listen to my podcast episodes, which I'd highly recommend that you guys listen to the first five episodes. Just going to program you to be bolder. The movement is called the B10XB movement. You can join our Facebook group. And, uh, and if you hop on that email list, I'm going to give every single person here a link to where you can get a free wristband. And I'm going to give you access to a seven day training series that will, well, it'll get you, it'll get you right. It's a free seven day training series. Normally you have to go to my blog and do some stuff to get it, but I'll just give you guys all a link. Just click that green button on that b10xb.com forward slash connect page. If you guys can type it in there so everyone can see it, you just go there. You guys can link up and uh, you'll get a link to get a free training series from me. Thank you, Caesar. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming to do this team. Let's give Caesar a big thank you on the right-hand side of the chat. Damn. Uh, I love that part about posture. And Caesar, I need to hold you to something. Um, Sir, uh-oh. Can you, I think my audience would love this. Are we going to run a live stream this November, sometime in November when we can pluck out 30 minutes so they could do a fireside Q&A? Because um, I, think, I think my audience loves you. Can you do that? Oh, look at this. Daniel with the bolder movements, right? Come on, Caesar. I'm, he, I'm in front of a thousand people and he asked me, can I do a Q&A? See, he could have waited and asked me, but he's using the love of the audience that he knows that I'm driven by. Team, yep. do you guys want Caesar to do a Q&A on IG Live this, this, this month? Can we, do, can we get him on? Man. How do I, I mean, how can I say no to that? See, he created an unbelievable, because he, he, knows, he knows my hot button. My hot button is transformation. He knows that I love sewing into people. If you guys, if you don't believe that, watch my latest video that I put on just Instagram. You know, I mean, I'm a big, I'm a big lover and uh, I, I absolutely would do that for you, brother, and for everyone here. So guys, this is the type of guy, this is why you want to follow people like this. Learn from this guy, learn from him, take notes. He's a freaking savage. And uh, thank you guys for the love. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Again, thank you so much for coming in here. That was awesome. Thank you, buddy. Have a good night. Out. Love you guys. Appreciate you. See ya. Guys, if you want to go follow Caesar, and he has, I think he was giving away his wristbands. I, his name on Instagram is Caesar L. Rodriguez. Somebody on my team right now will drop it inside of the chat. Um, Dan, Caesar is fucking amazing. I love it. So good.